talk about what's happening in the Middle East. Israel are now considering their response to Iran's bombardment early Sunday morning Australian time. Uh, Iran have uh, warned Israel that if they respond at all anywhere, then they will face all sorts of hell, including weapons that have not yet been used, which is an interesting <clears throat> allusion to perhaps nuclear weapons. Of course, Iran have been on, in the process of trying to develop them for quite some time. I want to talk about Biden's um, whole attitude towards Iran in a second. But before we get to that, one of the things that really interests me about what's happening at the moment is that bombardment that we saw Sunday morning. Do you know the amount of <clears throat> ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and drones that were sent towards Israel was only about 20 or 30 less than Russia sent against the Ukraine at the start of that war. And when you consider Ukraine is a country 20 times larger than Israel, mm. it gives you an idea of just how much ordnance was shot towards Israel. Most of it was shot down before it ever reached Correct. Israeli airspace. So Joe Biden has said, well, Israel are good then. You, you've come out of this fine. You've, you've pretty much won that battle. No need for any retaliation. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine any other country on Earth mm. being bombarded with hundreds of missiles and saying, oh, well, no one died, no buildings were damaged. All's so, well that um, ends well. We don't need to do anything. Let bygones be bygones. Only Israel would be told, oh, it's all right, you don't need to do it. What country would allow that? And, and not respond. And what country would be stupid enough, as the US clearly is, to even pretend to think that that's going to be the end of it? Mm. Oh, so Iran's just sitting around twiddling its fingers going, oh, well, that fell over, I guess that's the end of us. No, they're already threatening to attack Israel mm. with some you beaut it has not been used before. Are we talking nuclear or, like, <laughs> elusive? But, but, but this is, this is the, this is the yeah, ridiculous thing, Star right? Wars. But, because, because Iran has said, you know, oh, this is what they say, right? And if you believe it, you've got to be a dunce. But they say, oh, you know, the, the attack on the weekend was simply retribution yeah. for, for your attack on the oh, embassy. The and, and, and we now believe that the, the issue is resolved. If you don't come back to us, well, we'll, we'll just put that on the shelf and, and pretend like it's all over. Does anyone really believe that? So you've got the pressure being put on Israel to say, oh, but, but Iran's saying if you, if you just leave them alone now, everything will be fine. Yeah, right. I mean, none of this war has ever been just about Hamas or just about Gaza. It is a war that has been had, you know, fought by proxy by Iran mm. from the very beginning. The yeah. Houthis got involved very early. They've been uh, working to, to stop the movement of very important ships around the world ever since this started because it's not just about Israel and Gaza. It's about the rest and the West, or the West versus the rest, as, as I've often said. Um, and so if you don't allow Israel to retaliate, and I understand that it could open up a wider war, and no one really wants a wider war, but there is no other country on earth, uh, an ally of ours, that we would say, nah, if someone attacks you, yeah. you shouldn't retaliate. Because by doing so, you send a message to Iran that you're willing to take it. And by being willing to take it, you actually invite more attacks. You said it would open up a wider war, and it probably would. But, yeah. but, but don't you think at some point a wider war is going to open up probably. anyway? Yeah, so uh, the best form of defence is offence. Choose the battle uh, that you want. Um, but you've got to know that Biden has no idea what he's doing when even Politico uh, says, look at this headline, has mm. Biden considered having an Iran, Iran strategy, implying he doesn't have one at all? Uh, the article says, when I asked the US official what President Joe Biden's Iran strategy is, I was immediately met with laughter. Then the official said, you know, a lot of people inside the administration ask that same question. Sometimes they ask it on the first day, sometimes they ask it six months later, still have no idea what America's strategy in Iran is. Of course, Joe Biden has been making out for years that uh, the problem with Iran is all because Donald Trump never had a strategy. Check out this tweet from 2020. Joe Biden wrote, Make no mistake, the situation with Iran is a crisis of Donald Trump's own making. He brought us to the brink of war with no plan and no strategy. He's the most erratic and incompetent commander-in-chief <laughs> we've uh, ever had. Yeah.